Chapter 1. Early Years in Slavery Harriet Tubman, born Araminta Ross around 1822, was one of nine children in a family of slaves in Maryland. Her parents, Harriet Green and Ben Ross, worked hard to keep their family together, despite the harsh reality of slavery. From a young age, Harriet, or Minty as she was called, learned about the cruelty and injustice of being a slave. Life was tough. Slaves worked long hours in the fields or doing housework, had little food, and were often treated badly by their owners. Harriet grew up hearing stories of slaves being sold and families torn apart. This filled her with sadness and a strong sense of injustice. Even as a child, Harriet was strong-willed and brave. She didn't like the unfair treatment of slaves and often stood up against it. When she was just five or six years old, she was sent to work as a house servant. The work was hard, and she often got punished even for small mistakes. One day, when she was about twelve, something happened that changed her life. She was at a store when she saw a slave trying to escape. The slave's overseer threw a heavy metal weight at him, but it hit Harriet instead. This injury caused her pain and dizziness for the rest of her life, but it also strengthened her resolve to fight against slavery. Harriet's family played a big part in shaping her views. Her mother, Harriet Green, was known for her strength and determination. She once hid another slave for a month, risking her own safety. Her father, Ben Ross, taught Harriet about the woods and rivers, skills that would later help her in her journey to freedom. Her brothers and sisters shared stories and dreams of living a free life, a dream that seemed impossible under the dark shadow of slavery. Despite the hard life, Harriet's parents taught her to be strong and to believe in God. Harriet grew up with a deep faith, often praying for her family and for an end to slavery. She believed that God would guide her and protect her. This faith gave her strength in the most challenging times of her life. As Harriet grew up, she started working in the fields, doing tough physical labor. She saw firsthand how brutal and unforgiving the life of a field slave was. The overseers were harsh, and the work seemed never-ending. But even in these hard times, Harriet never lost hope. She listened to stories of the Underground Railroad, a secret network that helped slaves escape to freedom. These stories filled her with hope and a burning desire for freedom, not just for herself, but for all slaves. Harriet's early years were marked by hardship and suffering, but also by courage and a growing desire for freedom. Her experiences as a young slave laid the foundation for her later life as a freedom fighter and an iconic figure in the fight against slavery. Her strength, bravery, and faith in these early years were just the beginning of her remarkable journey towards freedom and justice. Harriet Tubman, born into slavery as Araminta Ross, was a remarkable figure whose early years were shaped by the harsh realities of slavery in the United States. Chapter 2 the First Acts of Defiance Harriet Tubman, known in her early years as Araminta Ross, showed signs of defiance against the unjust system of slavery from a young age. Her spirit of resistance began to manifest in various ways, marking the beginning of her journey as a freedom fighter. As a young girl, Harriet was hired out to different masters, many of whom treated her poorly. She never accepted her fate quietly and often resisted the harsh treatment. One of her first acts of defiance was when she was sent to a home where she was treated cruelly. She showed her resistance by running away, hiding for five days without food or warmth. This act, though small, was a significant step in her path towards resistance against the oppressive system of slavery. Another pivotal moment in Harriet's early defiance occurred in her teenage years. One day, she encountered a situation that would leave a lasting impact on her life. A slave overseer was trying to catch a runaway slave and demanded Harriet's help. 
Standing in a store, she refused to assist him, blocking the way and giving the runaway slave a chance to escape. In anger, the overseer threw a heavy metal weight, aiming at the runaway, but hitting Harriet instead. This injury caused her severe headaches and visions, which she later interpreted as revelations from God guiding her in her fight against slavery. These experiences of defiance were not just acts of rebellion, but also of deep conviction and belief in freedom and justice. Harriet's refusal to participate in the capture of a fellow slave demonstrated her strong sense of right and wrong and her unwillingness to support an unjust system. Despite the physical and psychological scars it left, this incident fueled her determination to resist and fight against slavery. Harriet's early acts of defiance were shaped by her experiences as a slave and her growing awareness of the injustices surrounding her. Her courage and strength became evident in these small but significant acts of resistance. These moments laid the groundwork for her later life as an iconic figure in the struggle for freedom and equality. Her defiance against the cruel system of slavery was just the beginning of a long and challenging journey, one that would eventually lead her to become one of the most respected and celebrated figures in American history. Throughout her life, Harriet Tubman's actions continued to reflect her unyielding spirit and her commitment to fighting for freedom. Her early acts of defiance not only marked her as a leader in the struggle against slavery, but also inspired countless others to stand up for their rights and fight for their freedom. Her story of resistance and bravery in the face of overwhelming odds remains a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit and the enduring fight for justice and equality. Chapter 3 The Dream of Freedom Harriet Tubman's longing for freedom grew stronger with each passing day of her life in slavery. Born into a world where her life was controlled by others, Harriet dreamt of a different life, a life of freedom. This dream was inspired by the stories she heard and the events she witnessed. Harriet heard stories from other slaves about people who had escaped to freedom. These stories spoke of a world where a person could live without fear, make their own decisions, and be treated with respect. Harriet longed to experience this freedom herself. One significant event that fueled Harriet's dream of freedom was when she was hired out to work for a new master. This master was particularly cruel, and the experience made Harriet realize that she could not live her entire life under such conditions. She began to think seriously about escaping. Another event that impacted her deeply was the sale of three of her sisters. Harriet saw her family being torn apart by slavery, which made the idea of freedom even more important to her. She knew that if she remained a slave, she might never see her family together again. The stories of the Underground Railroad, a secret network that helped slaves escape to free states, also inspired Harriet. She heard about brave men and women, both black and white, who risked their lives to help slaves reach freedom. These stories made her believe that it was possible to escape and live a life of freedom. She started to gather information and plan how she could escape herself. Harriet's faith also played a vital role in her dream of freedom. She believed that God wanted her to be free and that He would help her. She often prayed for guidance and strength, trusting that one day she would escape the bonds of slavery. This faith gave her hope, even in the darkest times, and helped her to keep her dream alive. The dream of freedom was not just about escaping from slavery for Harriet. It was about dignity, choice, and the chance to live a life where she could be her true self. Harriet knew that freedom would not be easy to achieve. It would require courage, careful planning, and a lot of risks. But the thought of living as a free person, where she could make her own choices and live without fear, was worth any risk. Harriet Tubman's dream of freedom was a powerful force in her life. It was a dream that would lead her to make a daring escape from slavery 
and eventually help hundreds of others to do the same. Her desire for freedom, inspired by the stories she heard and the events she witnessed, was a testament to her strength and determination. It was this dream that transformed her from a slave into one of the most famous conductors on the Underground Railroad and an enduring symbol of the fight for freedom. Chapter 4 The Escape Harriet Tubman's escape from slavery is a story of bravery and determination. After years of dreaming about freedom, Harriet decided it was time to make her dream a reality. The year was 1849, and Harriet was still a slave in Maryland. She knew that escaping would be extremely dangerous. If caught, she could be punished severely or even killed. Despite these risks, Harriet was determined to be free. Harriet's plan for escape was carefully thought out. She decided to leave at night to avoid being seen. She carried a small bundle of food and wore layers of clothing to keep warm. The most challenging part of her escape was leaving her family behind. This was a heartbreaking decision, but Harriet believed it was necessary to achieve her freedom. On the night of her escape, Harriet's heart pounded with both fear and excitement. She traveled alone, using the North Star as her guide. Harriet had learned from other slaves about the secret network known as the Underground Railroad. This network was made up of safe houses and people willing to help escaped slaves on their journey to freedom. During her journey, Harriet faced many dangers. She had to hide during the day and travel at night to avoid being caught. She walked through woods and across streams, always careful to cover her tracks. There were times when she was cold, hungry and exhausted, but she never gave up. One of the most frightening moments of her journey was when she came across a notice offering a reward for her capture. This made Harriet realize just how much danger she was in. However, she was determined not to let fear stop her. With each step, she moved closer to freedom. After traveling for several nights, Harriet finally reached Pennsylvania, a free state. When she crossed the border, she felt a sense of relief and joy like she had never felt before. She looked at her hands, expecting to see some change now that she was free. While she looked the same on the outside, she felt different on the inside. She had achieved her dream of freedom. Harriet Tubman's escape was the beginning of a new chapter in her life. She had overcome incredible odds to free herself from the bonds of slavery. This act of bravery was just the first of many in Harriet's long fight for freedom. Her escape inspired her to help others achieve their freedom, leading her to become one of the most famous conductors on the Underground Railroad. Harriet's journey from a slave to a free woman is a testament to her courage and determination and remains an inspiring story of the fight for freedom and equality. Chapter 5. A New Beginning in Philadelphia Upon reaching Philadelphia, Harriet Tubman found herself in a completely new world. This city represented freedom, a stark contrast to the life of slavery she had left behind. It was a place buzzing with life and activity, filled with people of different backgrounds and races, all living together. For Harriet, this was both exciting and overwhelming. She had never experienced such freedom before. In Philadelphia, Harriet got her first taste of what it meant to be free. She could move around without fear, make her own decisions, and for the first time in her life, she could work and earn her own money. Harriet found work as a domestic servant, a common job for African Americans at the time. Although the work was hard, it was rewarding because she was working for herself and not a master. One of the most significant changes for Harriet was the ability to meet and interact with other free African Americans. She discovered a vibrant community of abolitionists, both black and white, who were actively working to end slavery. In Philadelphia, Harriet learned about the broader movement against slavery and met other people who had escaped from it. 
These connections would play a crucial role in her future activities. Despite the joy of freedom, Harriet could not forget the family and friends she had left behind. She missed them deeply and was troubled by the thought of them still living in slavery. This feeling led to a growing determination within Harriet. She wanted to do more than just enjoy her own freedom. She wanted to help others escape slavery as she had. Harriet's time in Philadelphia was a period of growth and transformation. She learned to navigate her new life as a free person, gaining skills and knowledge that would be invaluable in the years to come. Her experiences in the city strengthened her resolve to fight against slavery and made her realize that her journey was far from over. Harriet Tubman's life in Philadelphia marked the beginning of her role as a leader in the fight for freedom. It was here that she transformed from a former slave into an active participant in the abolitionist movement. Her time in the city was not just about finding a new life for herself, but also about preparing for the future and the significant role she would play in helping others find their path to freedom. Harriet's story in Philadelphia is a testament to her resilience, courage, and the enduring spirit of hope that guided her throughout her life. Chapter 6 The Underground Railroad the Underground Railroad was not a real railroad, but a secret network of routes and safe houses used by enslaved African Americans to escape to free states and Canada. Harriet Tubman became one of the most famous conductors on this railroad. Her role in helping other slaves escape was both dangerous and heroic. After her own escape to freedom, Harriet could have chosen to live a safe life in Philadelphia. Instead, she decided to risk her life to help others. Harriet made her first trip back to the South in 1850 to rescue her niece and her niece's two children. This trip was the beginning of many such dangerous journeys she would undertake. Harriet's knowledge of the land and her ability to read the stars learned from her father were crucial in these missions. She traveled at night, guided by the North Star, and used songs and codes to communicate with the slaves she was helping. The routes she used were filled with risks, from slave catchers looking for runaways to treacherous landscapes. Yet, Harriet never lost a single passenger on her trips. Each journey Harriet made on the Underground Railroad increased her reputation. She became known as Moses because, like the biblical figure, she led her people to freedom. She was smart and resourceful, often disguising herself and the slave she was helping to avoid detection. Despite the $40,000 bounty on her head, Harriet was never captured, nor did she lose any of her charges. Harriet's involvement with the Underground Railroad was a significant part of the abolitionist movement. She not only helped around 70 slaves gain their freedom, but also provided valuable information to abolitionist leaders. Her bravery and success made her a symbol of the fight against slavery. The story of Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad is one of courage and determination against overwhelming odds. It highlights the incredible risks enslaved people and their allies took to achieve freedom. Harriet's role in this network showcases her extraordinary bravery and commitment to the cause of freedom. Her legacy as a conductor on the Underground Railroad remains a powerful testament to her unyielding spirit and the enduring fight for justice and equality. Chapter 7 Return to Maryland After Harriet Tubman settled in Philadelphia and tasted the sweetness of freedom, she couldn't forget those she left behind in slavery. Her thoughts constantly returned to her family and friends still suffering in Maryland. So, she made a bold decision that marked her as a true hero. She would go back to Maryland to rescue them. This was an extremely dangerous idea, as returning to a slave state as a fugitive could mean death or being captured and returned to slavery. But Harriet's courage and determination were stronger than her fear. In 1850, Harriet began her first of many trips back to Maryland. 
She planned each journey meticulously, knowing that any mistake could be fatal. Her first mission was to rescue her niece and her family. Harriet used her knowledge of the area and the skills she had learned while escaping to guide them safely to Philadelphia. The success of this mission filled her with confidence and a deeper resolve to continue her work. Over the next ten years, Harriet made numerous trips back to Maryland. She became an expert in traveling by night, using secret codes and signals, and finding safe houses for the people she was helping. Harriet's reputation grew with each successful mission. She was never captured, nor did she lose any of the people she was guiding to freedom. Her incredible skill and luck earned her the nickname Moses, likening her to the biblical figure who led his people out of slavery. During these missions, Harriet faced many dangers. She had to avoid slave catchers, who were more determined than ever to capture her as her fame grew. The landscapes she traveled through were harsh, and the journeys were exhausting. But Harriet's will was unbreakable. She was driven by a powerful sense of duty and love for her fellow human beings. Harriet's return to Maryland and her subsequent rescue missions are some of the most thrilling and inspiring parts of her story. They show her extraordinary bravery and selflessness. Her actions not only changed the lives of those she rescued, but also had a significant impact on the fight against slavery in America. Harriet Tubman's daring returns to Maryland to help others escape are a testament to her strength, courage, and unwavering commitment to freedom and justice. Chapter 8 Journeys of Freedom Journeys of Freedom highlights several of Harriet Tubman's daring rescue missions, each a testament to her bravery and cunning. On these missions, Harriet led many slaves to freedom, navigating dangerous paths with confidence and skill. One notable rescue was her journey to save her brother Moses and two other men. Harriet carefully planned this trip disguising herself and her group to avoid detection. They traveled by night, guided by the North Star, and during the day they hid in safe houses provided by alleys. Despite close calls with slave catchers, Harriet successfully led the group to freedom in Philadelphia. Another remarkable mission was when Harriet returned to Maryland to rescue her parents. By this time, Harriet was well known and the risk of capture was high. Using her knowledge of secret routes and safe houses, she guided her elderly parents through swamps and forests, evading slave patrols. This journey was particularly challenging due to her parents' age and the need for extreme caution. However, Harriet's determination saw them through, and they reached safety in the north. Harriet's most daring mission, perhaps, was the rescue of eleven slaves in one trip. This large group posed a significant challenge, as it was more difficult to remain unseen. Harriet used various strategies, including traveling through less common routes and conveying secret messages through songs. The journey was fraught with danger, but Harriet's leadership and quick thinking enabled the entire group to reach freedom without being caught. Each of Harriet's missions was a complex operation requiring immense courage and intelligence. She had to constantly think on her feet, often changing plans at the last minute to avoid capture. Harriet's unwavering commitment to her cause and her deep empathy for those still in bondage drove her to undertake these perilous journeys. These rescue missions not only freed many individuals from the shackles of slavery, but also struck a significant blow against the institution of slavery itself. Harriet's actions challenged the system and inspired others to join the fight for freedom. Her journeys of freedom were more than just physical travels. They were symbolic of the larger struggle for liberation and equality. Harriet Tubman's rescue missions are an integral part of her legacy. They highlight her extraordinary bravery, strategic thinking, and deep compassion.
Through these journeys, Harriet Tubman solidified her place in history as a symbol of resilience and a champion of freedom. Her story continues to inspire people around the world to fight against injustice and to help those in need. Chapter 9 Challenges and Close Calls Challenges and Close Calls delves into the numerous challenges and dangers Harriet Tubman faced during her missions on the Underground Railroad. Harriet's journeys were fraught with risks at every turn, testing her bravery and ingenuity. One of the biggest challenges was evading slave catchers and their dogs. These men were often violent and would stop at nothing to capture runaway slaves and those helping them, like Harriet. She had to be extremely cautious, often changing her route and using clever tricks to mislead them. Another significant danger Harriet faced was crossing rivers and navigating through difficult terrain, especially at night. These physical challenges were daunting as the journey was exhausting and the fugitives she guided were often weak and scared. Harriet had to be a strong leader, encouraging them and keeping their spirits up despite the dangers they faced together. One close call occurred when Harriet was leading a group of fugitives and they came across a river that was higher than usual due to recent rains. The current was strong and it seemed impossible to cross. However, Harriet, determined not to be deterred, found a way to lead her group safely across, displaying her remarkable courage and resourcefulness. On another occasion, Harriet and her group were nearly caught by slave catchers. They had to hide in a swamp for hours, staying perfectly still and silent as the men and their dogs searched nearby. It was a tense and terrifying experience, but Harriet's calm under pressure kept the group safe. These challenges were not just physical but also emotional. Harriet grew attached to the people she was helping and felt a great responsibility for their safety. The fear of being caught and the knowledge of what would happen if they were captured weighed heavily on her. Yet she never let her fear show and always remained focused on her mission to bring as many slaves as possible to freedom. Harriet Tubman's journeys were a constant battle against the odds. The challenges and close calls she experienced on her missions were numerous, but her determination and bravery never wavered. Her ability to face danger head-on and come up with solutions on the spot was extraordinary. These qualities made her not only a successful conductor on the Underground Railroad, but also an inspiring figure in the fight against slavery. Harriet's story of overcoming challenges and close calls is a powerful reminder of the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Her legacy continues to inspire those who fight for freedom and justice across the world. Her courage, combined with her quick thinking and deep compassion, make her one of the most remarkable figures in American history. Chapter 10 The Fugitive Slave Act the Fugitive Slave Act explores the significant impact of this law on Harriet Tubman and her work on the Underground Railroad. The Fugitive Slave Act, passed in 1850, was a law that made it much harder for escaped slaves to remain free in the United States. It required citizens to help capture runaway slaves and return them to their owners, even in states where slavery was illegal. This law made Harriet's mission to help slaves escape to freedom even more dangerous and difficult. For Harriet, the act meant that the northern states, which had been a haven for escaped slaves, were no longer safe. Slave catchers now had the power to chase fugitives in these states and bring them back to the south. Harriet knew that the people she helped escape could be captured and taken back to slavery, and she could be arrested for helping them. The risk of capture was now greater than ever for Harriet. She had to be even more careful in planning her rescue missions. The routes she used had to be changed more frequently, and the safe houses had to be even more secure. Harriet started leading slaves further north to Canada, where the Fugitive Slave Act did not apply. The journey to Canada was longer and more challenging, 
but it was necessary to ensure the safety of the escaped slaves. Harriet's determination and courage did not waver in the face of these new challenges. Instead, the Fugitive Slave Act only strengthened her resolve to fight against slavery. She continued to lead slaves to freedom despite the increased risks. Her bravery and success in these missions made her a symbol of resistance against the oppressive laws of the time. The Fugitive Slave Act also had a broader impact on the abolitionist movement. It angered many people in the North who had been indifferent to the issue of slavery before. More people started supporting the abolitionist cause and helping escaped slaves. This was a turning point in the fight against slavery in the United States. For Harriet Tubman, the Fugitive Slave Act was both a challenge and a catalyst. It made her mission more dangerous, but also highlighted the importance of her work. Her response to this law showed her incredible bravery and commitment to the cause of freedom. The Fugitive Slave Act, intended to strengthen the institution of slavery, instead played a role in its eventual downfall, partly due to the efforts of courageous individuals like Harriet Tubman. Her story during this time remains a powerful example of resilience and the enduring struggle for justice and human rights. The Fugitive Slave Act not only delves into the historical context of the law, but also encourages discussions on law and ethics and enhances persuasive writing skills essential for B1-level English learners. The Fugitive Slave Act raised significant ethical questions as it conflicted with the moral beliefs of many people, including Harriet Tubman, who viewed slavery as inherently wrong. Discussion on Law and Ethics The Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 posed a moral dilemma. It was a legal requirement to return escaped slaves, yet many people believed it was ethically wrong to deny someone their freedom. This conflict between law and ethics is a critical aspect of Harriet Tubman's story. Her actions, though illegal, were driven by a moral belief in the right to freedom. Chapter 11 Harriet's Role in the Civil War Harriet's role in the Civil War highlights Harriet Tubman's significant contributions during this critical period in American history. When the Civil War broke out in 1861, Harriet saw it as a momentous opportunity to further the cause of freedom for all slaves. Her extensive knowledge of the southern terrain and her experience with covert operations made her an invaluable asset to the Union Army. Harriet first served as a nurse, tending to wounded soldiers. She used her knowledge of herbal medicines to treat the sick and injured. Her compassion and skill in nursing were well regarded, and she quickly became a respected figure among the troops and medical staff. But her role in the war extended far beyond nursing. Recognizing her unique talents, Union commanders soon asked Harriet to work as a scout and spy. Her missions involved gathering intelligence about Confederate positions and movements. Harriet's ability to move stealthily through dangerous territory allowed her to bring back crucial information that helped the Union forces. Perhaps Harriet's most remarkable achievement during the Civil War was her involvement in the Combahee River Raid. In 1863, under the guidance of Union Colonel James Montgomery, Harriet helped plan and execute a raid to liberate slaves from plantations along the Combahee River in South Carolina. This daring operation was hugely successful, resulting in the liberation of more than 700 slaves. Harriet's role was crucial. She provided key intelligence and guided the boats through the mines in the river. Throughout the Civil War, Harriet Tubman displayed extraordinary courage and strategic thinking. Her efforts significantly contributed to the Union's war effort, and she became a symbol of hope and strength for many. Harriet's involvement in the Civil War is a testament to her unwavering commitment to the abolition of slavery and the fight for equality. 
Harriet's actions during the Civil War exemplify her leadership skills and her deep dedication to the cause of freedom. She not only helped weaken the Confederate forces, but also directly contributed to the liberation of hundreds of slaves. Her legacy in the Civil War demonstrates how one individual's courage and determination can have a profound impact on the course of history. Harriet Tubman's involvement in the Civil War remains a powerful chapter in her life, showcasing her as a true hero in the fight against slavery and for the rights of all people. Chapter 12 The Combahee River Raid The Combahee River Raid narrates one of Harriet Tubman's most daring and successful operations during the Civil War. In June 1863, Harriet played a pivotal role in leading the Combahee River Raid, a significant mission to liberate slaves from plantations in South Carolina. This raid was not just a military operation, but also a bold statement against the institution of slavery. Harriet, working with Union Colonel James Montgomery, planned the raid meticulously. Her intimate knowledge of the area and her experience with covert operations were crucial in the planning stage. She gathered intelligence on the locations of the slaves and the layout of the plantations. The mission required precise timing and coordination, and Harriet's leadership was key to its success. On the night of the raid, Harriet and Union soldiers sailed up the Combahee River. They navigated the waters carefully, avoiding Confederate traps and ambushes. Harriet's knowledge of the river and its surroundings proved invaluable. As they reached the plantations, the soldiers, guided by Harriet, quickly took control, surprising the plantation owners and overseers. The slaves, upon realizing that Union soldiers had come to liberate them, quickly gathered their belongings and headed towards the boats. Harriet was there, guiding them, encouraging them, and ensuring that as many as possible could board the boats. It was a scene of chaos, but also of hope and jubilation. The slaves, who had lived their entire lives in bondage, were finally tasting freedom. The raid was a tremendous success. Over 700 slaves were liberated in a single night. This was one of the largest liberations of slaves in a single operation during the Civil War. The impact of the raid was profound. Not only did it free hundreds of slaves, but it also dealt a significant blow to the Confederate economy and morale. Harriet's role in the Combahee River Raid cemented her status as a hero of the Civil War and a symbol of the struggle for freedom. Her bravery, strategic thinking, and unwavering commitment to the cause of abolition were on full display during this operation. The success of the raid showcased her extraordinary leadership skills and her ability to inspire and mobilize people towards a common goal. The Combahee River Raid remains one of the most remarkable episodes in Harriet Tubman's life. It highlights her courage, resourcefulness, and her deep commitment to the cause of emancipation. This raid not only changed the lives of the slaves who were liberated, but also demonstrated the power of strategic planning and bold action in the fight against slavery. Harriet Tubman's leadership in the raid is a powerful testament to her legacy as one of America's greatest freedom fighters. Chapter 13 After the War, Fighting for Rights After the War, Fighting for Rights explores Harriet Tubman's life after the Civil War, a period marked by her continued activism and fight for civil rights. With the end of the war and the abolition of slavery, Harriet's focus shifted to helping former slaves integrate into a free society and advocating for their rights. After the war, Harriet settled in Auburn, New York, a place she had secured earlier as a haven for her family and other freed slaves. Here, she continued her work as a humanitarian and leader. She set up a home for the aged and needy, providing care for those who had nowhere else to turn. 
This home was a testament to her enduring compassion and commitment to helping others. Harriet also became actively involved in the women's suffrage movement, fighting for women's right to vote. She believed strongly in equality not only for African Americans, but also for women. Harriet worked alongside other prominent figures in the suffrage movement, such as Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, giving speeches and attending conferences. Her role in the movement brought attention to the intersection of race and gender in the fight for equality. Throughout her later years, Harriet continued to share her experiences and insights, becoming an inspirational speaker. She spoke about her experiences as a conductor on the Underground Railroad, her role in the Civil War, and her views on the importance of civil rights and women's suffrage. Her speeches were powerful and moving, drawing large crowds and influencing public opinion. Harriet's commitment to justice and equality was unwavering. She faced financial difficulties and health problems in her later years, but these challenges did not deter her from her activism. Her life after the war was a reflection of her resilient spirit and her dedication to making the world a better place for all. Harriet Tubman's post-Civil War activities added another layer to her legacy as a freedom fighter. She did not rest after the abolition of slavery, but continued to fight for the rights and dignity of all people. Her work in the suffrage movement and her efforts to help the needy and the elderly highlighted her broad vision of freedom and equality. Harriet's life after the war is a powerful reminder of the ongoing struggle for civil rights and the impact one individual can have in making lasting societal changes. Her story during this period inspires future generations to continue the fight for justice and equality. Chapter 14, Harriet's Personal Life. Harriet's personal life offers a glimpse into the more intimate aspects of Harriet Tubman's life exploring her family relationships and personal experiences beyond her public role as an abolitionist and civil rights activist. Despite her prominent role in history, Harriet's personal life was marked by both joy and hardship, shaping her character and actions. Born into slavery, Harriet's family was a central part of her life. She was one of nine children born to Harriet Green and Ben Ross, the bond with her family was strong, and the pain of being separated from them under slavery deeply affected her. This personal anguish was a driving force in Harriet's later decision to escape slavery and subsequently help others do the same. Harriet's personal life was also marked by her marriage to John Tubman, a free black man, in 1844. However, after her escape to freedom in 1849, her marriage became strained. John had not shared Harriet's determination to escape and had remarried by the time she returned to Maryland to bring him north. This heartbreak was a significant personal setback for Harriet, but it did not deter her from her mission. Later, in 1869, Harriet married Nelson Davis, a Civil War veteran who had served with the Union Army. They shared a common understanding of the struggles and hardships of life, and their marriage was a source of personal happiness for Harriet. Together, they adopted a baby girl named Gertie, further enriching Harriet's family life. Harriet's home in Auburn, New York, became a haven not just for her family, but also for other African Americans seeking a new life after slavery. She worked tirelessly to provide for her family and those who sought refuge with her. Her home was a place of warmth, love and safety, reflecting her caring and nurturing nature. Despite her heroic public persona, Harriet faced many personal challenges. She struggled with health problems stemming from the head injury she suffered as a child and the hardships of her life on the run. Financial difficulties were also a constant concern as she worked to support her family and her causes. Yet, through it all, Harriet remained steadfast and resilient, driven by a deep sense of duty and compassion. 
Harriet's personal life was as complex and rich as her public life. Her experiences as a daughter, sister, wife and mother were intertwined with her larger mission to fight for freedom and justice. Understanding these aspects of her life provides a more complete picture of Harriet Tubman as a person, not just as a historical figure. Her personal story is one of love, loss, resilience and undying commitment to her family and her community. It offers a unique insight into the woman behind the legend and serves as a powerful testament to her humanity and enduring spirit. Chapter 15 Her Final Years Her Final Years chronicles the latter part of Harriet Tubman's life, highlighting her enduring activities and influence. As she aged, Harriet continued to be a beacon of hope and a symbol of relentless struggle for equality and justice. In her final years, Harriet's commitment to social causes never waned. She remained active in the women's suffrage movement, advocating for women's right to vote. Despite facing the challenges of aging and health issues, her voice and presence at meetings and events were powerful and inspiring. Harriet's contribution to this cause laid a foundation for future generations of women activists. Harriet's home in Auburn, New York, continued to be a hub of activity and support for the African-American community. She provided shelter, food and guidance to many, embodying the role of a community leader and matriarch. Her home was not just a refuge for the needy, it was a symbol of her lifelong commitment to helping others. One of Harriet's significant achievements in her later years was the establishment of the Harriet Tubman Home for the Ajid. This was a realization of her long-standing desire to provide care and support for elderly African Americans. Her dedication to this project demonstrated her compassion and commitment to the welfare of others irrespective of her personal struggles. Harriet's influence extended beyond her immediate community. She became a nationally respected figure, and her life story was an inspiration to many. Her legacy was celebrated, and she received honors and recognition for her extraordinary contributions to American society. Despite the accolades, Harriet remained humble and focused on her mission to uplift others. Her resilience and strength in the face of adversity continued to motivate those who fought for civil rights and social justice. In her final years, Harriet Tubman's life was a testament to her unwavering spirit and her deep-seated belief in freedom and equality for all. Her actions and words during this time left an indelible mark on American history and continue to inspire countless individuals to this day. Harriet's legacy, shaped by her activities and influence in her later years, is a powerful reminder of the impact one person can have in changing the world for the better. Her life story, especially her enduring efforts in her later years, resonates with the values of perseverance, compassion and the relentless pursuit of justice. Chapter 16 the Legacy of Harriet Tubman The Legacy of Harriet Tubman is a reflection on the enduring impact and legacy of a woman whose life story transcends time. Harriet Tubman, known as the Moses of her people, left an indelible mark on American history through her courageous actions and unwavering commitment to freedom and justice. Harriet Tubman's legacy is multifaceted, she is most renowned for her role as a conductor on the Underground Railroad, where she risked her life to lead hundreds of slaves to freedom. Her bravery and strategic prowess in these rescue missions were extraordinary and continue to be celebrated. Her work in this area not only changed the lives of those she directly helped, but also served as a beacon of hope and a source of inspiration for the abolitionist movement and beyond. During the Civil War, Harriet's role as a nurse, scout and spy for the Union Army further demonstrated her dedication to the cause of freedom. Her efforts in the war, particularly her leadership in the Combahee River Raid, showcased her remarkable abilities 
and contributed significantly to the Union's success. This part of her life is a testament to her versatility and determination in the fight against slavery. Post-Civil War, Harriet's activism did not cease. She became an outspoken advocate for women's suffrage, aligning herself with other key figures of the movement. Her speeches and appearances at suffrage events underscored her belief in equality, not just for African Americans, but for all disenfranchised groups. Harriet's involvement in this movement emphasized her understanding of the interconnectedness of various social justice issues. Harriet's personal life, marked by resilience in the face of adversity, also forms a significant part of her legacy. Her actions as a community leader in Auburn, New York, her efforts in establishing the Harriet Tubman Home for the Aged, and her role as a family woman, friend, and mentor reflect her compassionate and nurturing nature. Harriet Tubman's legacy is also preserved in the numerous memorials, books, films, and scholarly works that continue to explore and celebrate her life and achievements. She is a symbol of courage, freedom, and equality, and her story continues to motivate and inspire people around the world to fight against oppression and injustice. In summary, Harriet Tubman's legacy is not confined to her lifetime, it extends far beyond influencing successive generations. Her life story is a powerful reminder of the capacity of an individual to effect significant change and stands as a testament to the enduring fight for human rights and dignity. Harriet Tubman's legacy continues to resonate, serving as a source of inspiration and a call to action for all who seek to make the world a more just and equitable place.